What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay miniature rescue. So today is a little bit different as these models were sent in by a subscriber named Florifont. And the story behind this is that she painted her first model in a GW store and then decided, hey, I want to start playing. So she bought some demonettes and then Night Haunt stuff came out the next week and she dropped it and it's been sitting on a shelf. So she said, hey, this would be great for a rescue. So she sent it in. So thank you, Florifont, and I hope that these look as good as you'd hope they would. So I'm jumping in pretty quick here with this service primer, but I covered all the models after I pretty much cleaned them up. I put the rest of them together because they were kind of all in pieces. Some of them were still on sprues. Uh, some of them had some paint on them. So I stripped what I could on some of them um, just to get it back to primer pretty much. And right now, we're just going to use the black primer and then come in with a zenithal highlight over the skin. So we're going to spray white from the top down and we're going to try and do a skin tone over the top of this to give that highlight and shadow kind of all in one. So we're going to use some violet velours and I've never used this ink before. So I really wanted to see how this would act over that type of prime highlighting. And this purple in particular, it's a purple ink, which means that, you know, you put it through your airbrush and you put it over this highlight like this, and it's going to take those whites really well. And it should leave all of the dark areas darker, giving us a nice, even, natural looking skin tone across the whole model. Now, this violet velour in particular has almost a shine to it. And I was having some real, real trouble trying to get that to shoot right. So I eventually just covered the whole thing and then dumped that out and put this crimson ink in to do the hair. And the idea behind that is we're gonna add some white to that as a tint to make it more pink. So as you can see, I picked up the second model that I'm gonna kind of showcase a little bit of, of some different things on. So I'm going to start with the red on this model because it's already in my airbrush. So, you know, that's saving a step. We don't have to clean that out. Um, normally, if you're doing like 10 at a time, you want to assembly line everything. But in this case, I'm trying to do two different things to see which one I like better. So we're going to start with doing the hair red. And then I'm just going to kind of hit the tip of the tail there just to give a, a little bit of a nice transition, you know, on the back end of that. An alternative to doing just a straight purple is to mix purple. So using this crimson and turquoise, I'm going to mix kind of a medium purple to shoot over the skin and try and achieve a similar effect, you know, using that white highlight as the bright points and keeping those dark areas a little bit darker on the skin. Overall, I'd say that this method created a better skin color. Now the velours looks really nice, especially after it dried and it was a nice even coat. But since this purple is a little bit brighter, I'm going to go back in and use that as a highlight on top of some of the areas where, you know, it kind of spidered out a little bit and got a little bit messy. And I think the problem was that whatever kind of medium is in that particular ink, it's some kind of metallic medium. And it was just getting a little bit clogged in the airbrush. So I think a mix between both of them is probably the best way to go. Putting down the airbrush for a little bit and switching to a brush, I'm just gonna fill in all of the armor on each one of them. And I plan on going back with some silver, which is the more traditional route for these demonettes is the black and silver outfits. 
um, but silver covers better over black. So it's usually a good idea if you're already using black and you know you're going to be coming back with uh, metallic to just go ahead and cover those areas now. inexpensive I mean it costs around the same as your your average GW bottle of paint you know it's acrylic and it's supposed to be fine art that was the category that it was put in in the store now when I airbrush this over black it worked really well and we're gonna find out a little bit later whether a mix of white and black changes those properties and, and we're gonna see how that actually reacts a little bit more. As I put a little bit more over the black, you could start to see some of that pink shift, especially when it built up a little bit more. And just for this particular model, I didn't wanna to go too far because that blue looked really nice to me and I, I just didn't wanna ruin it. So in a little while, we're gonna hit that second model that I prepped with more of a white and black uh, gradient and see how that works.
then just kind of make some fresh, nice transitions from that, that pinkish red to white tips on the hair. Bringing back that pink flash color shifting paint, I'm going to go over that second model where I did that white to black gradient and we're going to see what kind of results we get. Pretty much what ends up happening is that all of the lighter areas pick up the pink a lot better and then as it gradually moves into the, the black, it transitions into blue. So you're basically getting this really nice, glossy, almost metallic, two-toned paint in one shot. And I mean, for four bucks, like, you really can't beat these kind of results, and I'm super surprised. So I know a lot of people use the Green Stuff World color shifting paint, and I still haven't gotten my hands on any, but I'd love to know your thoughts about that in comparison to this. Coming in with Drukey Violet, I'm just going to do a slightly watered down wash over all of the skin, and that's just going to deepen our shadows a little bit more and kind of bring all of that color together. For a while I sat and watched them Till boredom conquered my mind In the setting sun Grabbed a rock, a heart, and sawed it. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to Florifont for sending me these demonettes. This was a really fun project, and I'm glad to have finished these 10 models for you. And honestly, without support like yours, I don't think that this channel would mean anything. You know, it'd just be me yammering on for hours talking to myself so i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video i would ask that that just leave a comment you know for florifon thanking her because it's a pretty big deal to send you know a box of models halfway around the world so tell her thank you And thank you all for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. To share your works in progress and talk about the hobby with other cool hobby people, hit us up at facebook.com slash eBay Miniature Rescues. If you'd like to send models in to be featured on this show, just hit me up by message or email me at ebayminirescues at gmail.com. Thank you again for joining me. I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.